The last time we have seen the consumer stateful widget and how it works. Previously, again, we have seen the provider and the state provider, but there is another provider that it is, in my opinion, more important because it is the one that you will uh, want to use in more cases, in more real uh, scenario cases. Uh, these other ones too, uh, don't get me wrong, but this last one, you'll need it if you want to manage complex scenarios. So first of all, let's delete the things that we don't need anymore. Um, right now, I'm going to remove this consumer stateful widget and I want only a consumer widget. And here I have to define again the widget ref, ref as I explained previously. Okay, so we can delete this one. We don't need it. Uh, this one too, and this one too. For now, okay. Okay, uh, right now we are ready to go. So, so in order to use this last provider, we need to use a state notifier. And the state notifier basically is another package that it basically extends the change notifier, but it adds the immutability thing on it. So you have uh, immutable data and it is better and this is another topic for maybe another video, inshallah. But for now, uh, you have to know that it is an extension and it is uh, immutable. And basically, it is better e um, more if you want to do really complex projects or, or work with a lot of people. Uh, you should use, uh, you should think in a, in, in a immutable manner. So the state notifier with the river package is already inside, so you don't have to install it. And it is uh, it has been developed by uh, the same guy, the same one who developed Riverpod and provider have developed uh, the state notifier. And it is an amazing package. So um, we must uh, define a state notifier just like this and if I am not wrong, I think because uh, I think that I have already read that if you want to use a change notifier instead of a state notifier, uh, you could do it the same uh, with with Riverpod. Um, and yeah, but I really suggest you to think in an immutable way and um, it is better. So, okay, now let's get into the code. So let's define the class my notifier extends state notifier. Here we want to define the type of data that we want to return. In our case, we want to return a list of string, and we do this by defining it here. And yes, now uh, we want to use super keyword so with super we are simply saying that when uh, we get a new instance of our notifier uh, we want this empty object to be the the first state to be uh, initialized as an empty object so when we will return the first time we will got we will get an empty object and basically here in our case with super we are defining the the initial state of our list so here uh, we want a method because uh, with uh, our notifier uh, it is a class and um, we want a method uh, we have a state class that contains the current state uh, of our uh, of our notifier 
and as I explained right now the first state is this one so our state will be like this so in this case uh, in order to change the state this one here we want to define some methods and basically methods uh, uh, Mm, methods are simply function but when you use them inside uh, inside a class you call them as methods so yeah we can define this simple method uh, add string for example and here uh, as a parameter we want the name of the string uh, to add so we can call it string to add and yes so inside here we want to change the the current state with the new state and um, we do this by assigning um, a new state to the old state so and basically here you don't have to push because uh, uh, you should replace the old state instead of pushing so if you push uh, you are doing it wrong because uh, in the immutable world you should replace the old state in, instead of changing uh, the current state it works uh, in this way and uh, how we could do this simply by using you have many ways but we want to use the spread operator to First of all, to spread all the values that are present at that moment to the state, and then we want to add our string. So for those who don't know with this syntax, uh, we are simply saying that anything that uh, it's uh, inside our object, so uh, mm, my, uh, my list, uh, so here a b c okay so basically when we do uh, like this uh, we are simply saying something like we do something like this We are saying that we want all these uh, things here outside and spread. I hope that it is clear. And if we have A, B and C, then everything will be spread into our list and we will have something like this. And then we can add our string to add. Uh, okay, I hope that this is clear. So, if this was our our state. So, now we want, as I said before, we want to use this syntax here and do like this state. And after the spread and uh, after spreading uh, the state here, we want to... Uh, add the string that we want to add so the first time we will have uh, an empty object so our state will be this one here and since it is empty uh, it will not spread anything and the only thing that will remain is the string to add in our second example if we for example uh, add a string when we add the string here if it is an A, for example, it will see this A here with the spread operator. It will throw everything outside and we will have something like this. And again, if we have uh, another value inside uh, for the third time, uh, we will have the state, this thing like here. It will spread everything outside with the spread operator and we will have something like this. So it will spread everything and then you will have your string, uh, your new string that you want to add. It's really simple. So now we can put this back like this. So thinking in an, uh, in, uh, an immutable way means that you should never change the current state, but you should uh, replace the state with a new state.
So right now we have defined our notifier and it should work fine. And now we should use uh, our provider to provide this uh, notifier uh, when to provide it to us when we need it. So, and we do this uh, as before, providers all are all defined by globals. And as I said before, you don't have to worry because um, it is not a problem even if it, if they are globals. So here my provider is equal and here we can use state notifier provider and here as always we need our ref and we want to return our notifier so we can type my notifier so that's it is really simple uh, the name here you can remember remember it easily is just state notifier plus provider and in this way uh, as far as i know you are returning a new instance of uh, the my notifier and for in the first case it will return uh, an empty uh, an empty list so we want now to call our uh, list of our list of strings and we can do this by finding a final list of string list of strings is equal and here we can use ref.watch because we want uh, to watch uh, for this provider if anything changes we want to update uh, the widget and re-render the new updated things so here we type my provider as always and in this case it will return directly the state so yes now the uh, thing that we want to do is to uh, define for example a column so we can put all our mm, the list of our strings and we want to uh, map them and return a, a list of widgets instead and in this case we can cast this this type here to be uh, to be a list because in our case uh, if you type the dot it doesn't see it as um, as a list it doesn't know that if it is a list or anything else so we can type as this here and here uh, we can use map um, string and here we can return uh, uh, my string by doing like this we should have uh, at the end uh, a list of text widgets with inside our string and we can use the spread operator here so we can uh, as I explained before we can throw all the widget all the list of the widgets uh, inside here or we can basically uh, do like this and type to list but I prefer the first one so yes um, the last thing that we want to do is that we want to um, be able to update our list by calling um, this uh, the, this method here add string and add new strings to uh, to our notifier and we do this by using ref.watch for example ref.read sorry because um, inside callbacks you should use ref.read and here my provider dot notifier and we uh, we want to call our add string method and inside here we want to return uh, string string and we can so we can generate a random number just to be uh, super sure that we have a different string every time we do this by uh, typing random random is equal random 
Mm -hmm. We import the math library and here we can use random dot next int and generate some number from 100 uh, from 0 to 100 we can save uh, and we can run our application to see uh, the result so if you don't want to use the random thing you you should you don't have to I, uh, just to show you that is a different string every time so it seems that is running and it should print okay it is working so as you can see now every time we type the plus it updates the state and it basically uh, every time that we press the button uh, it calls this function here uh, it calls our provider and as I, as i've explained before here by calling this function here you get directly the state and not as previously that in the development um, version you uh, were able to get the controller and then access the state but here you uh, are directly accessing the state so in this case since in that way you are accessing directly the state here you have to call my provider and access the notifier and then you you, you are able to access the methods of your class. Uh, in this case, we are uh, accessing add string, where we are passing a string with a random number from zero to 100. And basically it goes into this function. And in our first case, we have uh, as a state, we have an empty object, and then it will add um, this, new string with this random number and it will see the old state with throw everything that is it is inside the old state to a new uh, a new uh, list and inside it it will add a new string and everything will replace the old state and after doing this mm, since here we are watching to our uh, for uh, for our provider if anything changes if our state change so this means that our provider is waiting to see if anything changes and uh, when thing changes basically uh, this state here changes so uh, everything here updates and it will show us uh, our list with this new value value uh, updated so if you want, we can uh, put a breakpoint here to see what happens by doing like this. As you can see, uh, we have this string 46 that we currently don't have. This is the old state. And uh, if you are new, I really encourage you to use the debugger to, uh, to understand your code because it is a really essential tool that you should understand. And here uh, you can see um, our old state that are all the numbers that we have on the screen and we have five numbers because here uh, we count from zero to four don't forget this and as you see here we have it says five items and then we add this new item as you can see now if we, if we press play everything updates so that's it. Uh, this is how you should use the state notifier with the state notifier provider. Uh, I hope that in is everything clear. So let me know um, if something it is not clear. And, and inshallah, I'm going to do other videos uh, about provider. Don't worry. Uh, uh, this is not the last one.